Okay, let's talk just a little bit about this. This is CMS release results of most comprehensive studies yet of Hicks Bussons properties to study the unique particles of proton proton collision in an unprecedented details. I want to talk a little bit about dark matter. Like normal matter, dark matter does not interact with the electromagnetic force. It does not absorb, reflect, or eminent light, making it extremely hard to spot. Doctors have only been able to infer the existence of dark matter by gravitational effect. It seems to have um, visible, visible matter. Dark matter seems to outweigh visible matter by 6 to 1, except 27% of the universe. Matter that we know that makes up all the stars and the galaxy is roughly percent of the content of the universe. It's dark matter. That is that it could contain supersymmetric particles. Talk about dark energy. It's up roughly 68% of the universe. It appears to be associated with the vacuum of the universe. Well of space. Because it's distributed evenly throughout the universe, not only in space, but in time. In other words, its effect is diluted as the universe expands. Even distribution, dark energy doesn't have any local gravitational effects. Rather a global effect universe as a whole leads to a repulsive force to accelerate the expansion of the universe. Once together, other scientific data confirm the existence of dark matter and dark energy. Just how much this mysterious substance exists. This and CMS will continue revealing the nature of the Higgs boson using data from the LHC's run 3 will be done tomorrow, July 5th. Your scientists say that they have not opened a portal into a parallel universe, which is very suspicious. What's suspicious about this? Why address it? Here in my lovely state of Tennessee, the lab isn't trying to open up a parallel universe portal either. Such descriptions mischaracterize these experiments. The word portal, figuratively, he says. You're just exploring the universe. All I know is we just don't have any clue what is going on, what they're looking for, what they're trying to do, and how, well, we know what links they're willing to go. Everyone, happy 4th of July. Stay prayed up.